what is up you guys my name is Marcellus and today I'll be bringing you my thoughts and kind of a review of the chapter black arc in Yu Yu Hakusho now if you haven't seen chapter black which takes place after the dark tournament I do suggest you you know click away from this video now if you have then sit back and get ready for my thoughts and just you know basic review of the whole arc now as I said before chapter black takes place after the dark tournament um, where Yusuke defeats Taguro and comes home and finds himself bored with normal life and everything like that. Well, we get introduced to a new villain called Sensui, who begins to taunt Yusuke. Um, we see him, like, we get flashes of him, not flashes, but we get images of him, you know, taunting Yusuke very often, taunting him in the street, and Yusuke can't keep up. And, you know, him attacking Botan and Seaman and everything like that, willing to kill his own man. And we get introduced to you know, a certain, I don't want to say kind of people, but you know, new kind of villain, you know, psychics, where uh, Yusuke was kidnapped, and uh, Kuobara, Hiei, um, and Kurama had to go in and save Yusuke, and we get Genkai coming back to train the um, psychics, which is pretty cool. Then we get, you know, um... Cool bar getting a new weapon, the dimensional, the sword that can cut through dimensions, and his fight with uh Seaman. Again, I, another thing I want to say about this arc is that it has some of the best fights throughout the whole series so far that I've seen. Like I do love the um whole Yusuke versus um Sensui thing. That's the main fight, but I love the side fights like you know Cool Bar versus Seaman, uh Yusuke kind of fighting the sniper, and then Yusuke getting confronted by Hiei. Um, what else do we have? We have, uh, we have the whole tactics of Karama when, uh, they're inside the mansion with the sidekicks. Then we have, um, a whole unity of, like, the whole characters. We have all the characters waiting outside the cave to see if Yusuke can defeat Sensui. And we have inside the cave with Team Yurameshi and all the, uh, other three, Kurobara, Karama, and Hia are locked up white. They're watching Yusuke get his ass handed to him. And it's just amazing because you, you never thought that somebody could be more powerful than Taguro. Well, we end up finding out that Taguro was only a B-class demon. Where there's A-class and S-class. And towards the end of the arc, we see that Yusuke does have magical blood in him. Which means he is half demon. Well, not half demon. But he is has demon blood in him. Which makes him an S-class demon. And towards the end, we get a plot device of uh, him defeating Sensui and finding out that it, it really wasn't Yusuke. Somebody else took over his body, which get, makes that a plot device to introduce the character Ryzen, who is used in the, third, the Three Kings arc. Later on, we find out that Sensui, like, you know, has some kind of cancer or whatever, and he was going to die anyways. But I, that's some bull. I don't like that, man. Like, I, I think that's like. That reminds me of Tachi, where like he dies or whatever. But either which ways, I love this arc. I love the whole transformation. And I love the end of this arc where we're getting introduced to a whole new arc where Yusuke leaves, and uh, he says he'll be coming back in two years or whatever. I love everything about this arc. Um, there's not really thing I hated, man. Like it introduced a character like the new villain right away after the dark tournament. Uh, it used some of like it used a lot of character development like Quinma we see why he had that past fire in his mouth all the time and uh, we see Quinma's father and the, the like you know his guards and everything like that I I love that that we get that so if you enjoyed this like the video um comment what you thought of the chapter black arc or you know what what are you looking forward to then um three kings arc and yes, I will be doing a review of the Three Kings arc when I'm done with it. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.